The Morrill Act started in, uh, was signed in 1862 by President Lincoln, and its goals were to provide uh, public lands uh, that states could use to help fund public universities and colleges uh, that focused on uh, agricultural arts, mechanic arts, and military tactics, along with other areas of study. And, an, uh, and a piece of it was it used the term for the common good of the industrial classes. So thinking about um, groups of people in the United States who wouldn't traditionally have gone to college, thinking more about it um, democratizing higher education. The Morrill Act came at a time that the university was uh, in dire straits. Uh, the university had closed uh, after a short opening uh, uh, and served as a preparatory department. Uh, the Civil War was uh, uh, at the same time and the university was in debt for uh, its construction of its first building, uh, which was then known as the Main Building, uh, now is referred to as Old Main. What happened is the state legislature in 1864 brought together a three-member board of regents and their task was to help get the university out of its deep indebtedness. The exhibit really looks at uh, the three main areas that is, are mentioned in the Morrill Act. Uh, agriculture, mechanic arts, and military tactics, and tries to de demonstrate how uh, those areas have been interpreted over time uh, with specific stories and, and individuals involved with each of those areas. 